Let's do this classic example of the limit comparison test. We're going to test the series, seen here, the sum of the terms sine of 1 over n, for convergence or divergence, and we'll do it using the limit comparison test. The limit comparison test says that if the limit of the ratio of the terms of two series approaches a finite positive number, then the series must have the same behavior. Either they both converge or they both diverge. Looking at this series, we may think of using the harmonic series for the limit comparison test. I mean, we see the 1 over n right there in the sine function. Let's give it a try. So we'll use the limit comparison test with a n equal to sine of 1 over n, those are the terms of our series, and then the other series we're going to use is the harmonic series, which we know to diverge. We then consider the limit of the ratio of the terms of these two series. That's the limit of sine of of 1 over n divided by 1 over n as n goes to infinity. We should immediately recognize this as sine of a thing over a thing. That's a pretty familiar limit form. Now what is that thing doing, the input of sine that we're also dividing by? Well, n is going to infinity, so this thing, the 1 over n, is actually approaching 0. More specifically, it's approaching 0 from the right. So we can rewrite this limit as the limit of sine of 1 over n over 1 over n as 1 over n approaches 0 from the right. But we know that sine of a thing over that same thing, with that thing approaching 0, is equal to 1. That's just sine x over x as x approaches 0, right? That's one you should remember. And if you don't remember, you could just use L'Hopital's rule. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson proving this limit, though, that sine x over x approaches 1 if x is approaching 0. That's exactly what we see here. So this limit is 1, which is a positive number. And so the limit comparison test tells us that the two series must have the same behavior. Since the harmonic series diverges, so too does the series we were analyzing, the sum of the terms sine of 1 over n. And that's how to use the limit comparison test to show that this is a divergent series. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 2 course and Calculus 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh. Uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind Two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus Finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter the rapidest Happens like this, my lecture's the most prominent, dominant Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together Like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need